Hi everybody! Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Welcome back to the Science Kids channel. This morning I'm gonna show you, nobody really wanted to be on film this morning except for Hannah, so she's our little helper. And we are gonna show you an update about our praying mantis project because we have not updated in a long time. So what we did was we just took regular potting soil and put it in the bottom of the container. And we combined our pea project with our praying mantis project and planted our peas directly into their substrate. What the dirt substrate and dirt does down there is it keeps it nice and humid and keeps them doing very well. Keeps it flowing through. Oh, we forgot the spray bottle. So, we planted some regular rye grass down in there and it sprouted very well. And we have four praying mantis uh, uh -huh, in here. We uh -huh. released all of the rest of the praying mantis and wrote it down where we released them all so that we could keep track and kind of see how many were hatching. And this continued to hatch, the Uthaka. So I took it out of this container and put it into this small container. And we had one more hatch after I did that. And we're just sort of observing it. It's probably done hatching, but we're gonna let it just hang out and see if any more come out. And we're documenting all of that. So what I wanted to show you is because we got these flightless fruit flies and they kind of gross me out I won't lie <laughs> and so to feed them the first time they got everywhere oh, yeah the flies got everywhere all over our counter it was disgusting and so the next time we fed them we took it outside to do and it still was kind of messy and then I came up with this idea to make a different lid because they were escaping and so what I did for the lid is I just took some paper towel and I poked it. You probably don't need holes, but I was just a Why, nervous. Mama? Why? Because uh, paper towel is very breathable, but I was just nervous that they might suffocate down in there, so I poked holes with a tiny needle. So, what you do is we're gonna check and make sure there's no praying mantis up on top, and there's not, and then you just go ahead and pop that open. Oh, so what I was saying is that I've figured out a way to do this without making a ginormous mess. So, first of all, I take the lid off and then I go ahead and spray it. Did you want to get a close-up of that one? It's right there on top, it's looking really cool. They're growing pretty fast as well. So the first thing I, I've been doing is I'll spray it. Just spray the sides so that I can water them a little bit and they can, no. They can drink those little droplets of water. And so that's how they get their water. And it's really moist in there, so I'm not going to do this, but I do have a separate water bottle and I'll pour a little bit of water in there if it's dry, but it's moist, so we don't need to do that. Now, here's the trick. You knock them all down. So now there's none on the top, but they crawl back up super fast, so nasty. All right, and so keep doing that while you open it. You just keep doing it and see none are escaping, which is good. And then I just give it a couple taps, kind of like I pretend in my head that it's salt and pepper so I'm not so grossed out. Work really fast, put the lid back on. There's like four or five in there. There's a whole bunch in the dirt, so we didn't want to give them too much. I just wanted to show you how we did it. And then I put the lid on and none of them escape. And they stay in there. You have a question? We had to feed them their dinner. Breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. Why? Because we have to feed them so we can watch them grow. So they're still pretty small. Ow. Probably a couple centimeters. Is it a couple centimeters, do you think, long? Two centimeters? Mil millimeters. Millimeters? Mm -hmm. We'll have to measure them, but they're growing really fast. So they're getting enough food and water, which is great. We keep them in a kind of... Are you okay? I just got it off. Oh, okay. So I keep them out of direct sunlight right over here next to my fridge. So there's a little bit of light coming in and keeping them nice and warm. It's warm in my kitchen. So that's where we keep them. Don't put them in direct sunlight or you will cook them. That would be very bad. So hey! thanks for following along. That would be so bad. So bad. And it looks like everybody's joined the video even though they said they didn't want to. Do you guys want to come say science later? Cut. Cut. Science later. Cut. Science later. Ready? One, two, three. Science later. Chop, 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 chop,
chop, chop, chop.